Well, of these 15 parliamentary seats and 31 state seats, we are quite confident, I would say. When I first took over as president after a long protracted internal squabble of one and a half years, I was filled with doubt. But after two and a half years, I would say that I'm more confident today. And I'm by nature very focused in my work. I, I'm not distracted by what people tell me. I'm attracted by what people, the riot tells me, not by what the opposition tells me. They will not distract me. Our MCA Medical Fund by now would have collected about easily 18 million. We have by now disbursed about 9 million. And uh, the crowds, the, 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 the recipient of this fund are all very multiracial. Multiracial. The microcredit has uh, attracted a lot of attention from the youth. By now, within less than six months, we have attracted easily about 1,000 applicants. Well, like all politicians, whatever we do, we always have an eye on the next general election. So when we do all this, we will not forget that we hope that all the good works will be translated into votes. Our constitution is crafted in such a way that if you look at our constitution, it is crafted in such a way that the various ethnic groups are to be taken care of in terms of religion, education, in terms of economic uh, independence. They are all in the Constitution. So whether we like it or not, ethnic dimension will always be in our political scenario for a long time to come. And because of this, DAP says that they are multiracial, and a lot of Chinese youngsters really believe in it. I can talk why MCA is more multiracial than DAP, but it is all a game of perception. So if we, I have a chance to serve three terms in the state and one term in the federal, and I always advocate that the government should release its recording for all the Wednesday ESCO and Wednesday cabinet. I think the riot is now matured to understand what sort of deliberation goes in before a decision is made. And you can then appreciate better the role played by AMNO, MCA and MIC. The government should degazette this paper. And that for everything the government of the day has been consistently fair, I would say. Considering the what we call the inputs of various ethnic groups, both at the state and federal level. But as I've pointed out earlier, it is when it comes to implementation that we have problems. Number one, I would say MCA now has become more vocal. We, we make a stand on almost all issues. Two, because I'm a member of the National Economic Council every Monday, and I make sure that my voices are heard. And I would say I'm one of the most vocal members in the National Economic Council that meets every Monday, chaired by the Prime Minister. And I also must thank the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister who has been there and made themselves very accessible to me. And I must say that I have no difficulty in meeting Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister. And it is because of this direct contact, they understand better the position of MCA on all the various issues and the issues confronting the Chinese community. The message that we intend to send to the delegate that this is a do or die better. And people will say that this is a mother of all general election. And in a way, it's true. So the message I have to say is that they should have a feeling of crisis. They have to work hard. They have to be united as a team. And it is through sheer hard work and teamwork and unity and be people's friendly 
that we can win this war.